Yeah, and here, I believe he calls with, like, King-10 or something ridiculous like that. Yeah, there's a 10 showing here. It definitely wasn't 9-10, because 9-10 would have beat me. With qu Queen-5, this is an interesting hand. I raise because I think he's just going to whiff this board a lot. And I also occasionally raise hands for value. And... I have decent equity with queen five, but I don't have good enough equity to float. So if I want to play this hand at all, I have to raise the flop, and we three bets me. And from my past experiences with him, he'd been mostly playing kind of fit or fold on the turn, so I decided to float. And this is pretty questionable. That being said, I am getting really sick odds. Maybe shoving was better. I don't know about that, but. I'm getting really six odds in, in hopes that he check folds a turn, which he tends to do. Or he has been doing in the past when he's done similar things. And then on the turn, I really don't think he ever has ace x because, well, first of all, he'd probably just call the flop with ace x. And as for like better hands are, like jack seven, or even like kings, I think that he would tend to check the turn. Uh, from my experiences with him, he's mostly just been trapping in the same spots. Even, well, that is even if he actually re-raises the flop. So I thought it was really, really unlikely that he'd um, actually have something here. But I thought that he would think that this card's a bluff card, and that's what he's consistently been doing. He's been consistently barreling like over cards and cards like this, and well, not so much spots like this, but in general. So I particularly thought he'd bluff a card like this. And I just thought that it was extremely likely that he was very disbalanced here. And the river is actually a really good river for me. Not only the flush draw miss, miss, which is possible, but um, now it's less likely he has king x, which beat me on the turn. Like if he had like king 8 offsuit and was doing this, he beat me on the turn. Now um, it's much less likely he has that because combinatorically it's just not as likely. And and also, I also thought that because this is an overcard, he'd particularly bluff this card. <laughs> and I snap called because I just didn't believe him. There aren't that many hands that really make any sense when you think about it that he can have for value. Especially, and it's also far fetched that he'd play all those hands like this um, on the tur on the flop. I just think that he'd probably trap the flop or or check the turn from my experiences with him. In the past, he'd done similar things. So I decided to call. May I I believe um, shoving the turn might have been better in retrospect. He was through many hands like queen 10, queen 9, and stuff like that, and a few things that actually beat me. But it so happened he had like one of those really terrible hands that he, was, he just had to be 3-bidding.